Hey everyone, Extreme Panda here. I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to fix the battle eye errors, fail to initialize, or fail to install battle eye. First thing you're going to want to do at the very beginning is search IOBit Unlocker, as seen here. And then you can go to their main website and click free download, and it'll bring you right to Major Geeks. Or if you come here and don't want to go to their main website, you can just come to download IOBit Unlocker and Major Geeks. Then download locations. And just click here if it does not, and it will probably download it twice, or you could just wait. I'm not very patient, so I decided not to. Then you're just going to want to go through the setup of Unlocker. You're going to want to click yes when it says do you want to allow this to make changes to your device. Then the setup will be right here. Next. Can oh, I should cancel that. Well. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back to my downloads because now I'm going to have to install it again. Now I'm going to have to actually install it. So I'll do it that for you. Accept, next, none. You don't have to add IOBit to my bookmarks. I decide not to. I create a desktop icon just for easier access. Next. Then it will bring you in completing the IOBit Unlocker setup wizard. And then launch IOBit Unlocker. Then click finish. And this is the overlay for IOBit Unlocker, which will help out. And this is what you'll be seeing in a minute here. So, then you're going to want to go to your file explorer. With this PC, Windows C, or whatever drive you use for your storage. Then, program files times 86. Common files. Then, battle eye folder. And it'll have all your battle eye stuff in here. And it might not allow you to delete it. It possibly. It. See. It doesn't allow me. This action can't be. Deleted. Or it'll say that. It's just because I have unturned open. At the moment. It. Personally. Deletes for me. But. Because I fixed it already. And I've unlocked the files permanently. So I'm going to create the battle life folder right here. For example, so that would be the battle life folder right here. And it won't allow you to delete the folder in your case. So you're going to want to right click IOBit Unlocker. Then click, do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? Yes. And then it should say locked. Well, it's not locked for me since I've already unlocked it. And you're just going to want to. Right where it says unlock, you want to click the arrow to the right, then unlock and delete, and it will delete the files, folders permanently. Do you want to continue? And there's nothing that's going to harm you, but I'm not accountable for anything that happens. So you're just going to want to click OK, and then unlock and delete successfully. Then your battle life folder successfully deleted. You want to go to Steam. Launch whatever game you want that has Battle Eye on it, because most games like Player Knows Battlegrounds, Arma 3, Unturned, Arma 2, all of these games use Battle Eye. It's an anti cheat, as you're probably aware. So I'm going to launch Unturned right here. Sorry about the background if you could hear that. And I'm just going to play Unturned, and it should say Battle Eye Launcher. Battle Eye is an anti cheat software used in online multiplayer games. So on, so on. Not gonna read the entire thing. Then you're just gonna wanna click install. I accept. Yes. Now uh, CMD will come up originally and say initialize to battle eye service successful and failed. I mean, not failed, sorry. <laughs> battle eye service successfully installed. And then it'll launch your game for you, and I'm in Unturned, with Battle Eye and everything. I'll show you for an example. You can get play servers.
Let's go to any server with battle eye. The server doesn't have battle eye because I'm game ban. But it does launch with battle eye, so you don't need to worry about anything happening in that sort of situation. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you guys have a great evening or night or day. Have a good, have a good one, everyone. See ya.